All right, next we're going to talk about the content extraction tool. So if you go into tools here, you can get access to content search and extract from here. Also, if you're in the script editor, you will see get content. That will bring up the same tool. So let's just make this a little bigger here. And so what this tool does, it has three different tabs here. The first one will search Google News and extract the latest top rated content from Google News. And then there's one that will um, search right from the Google search engine and then one from the Bing search engine. And you got some, some extra features here to search from. So let's go and start with news first. So say for example, you're typing how to make money with AI. Then you click search and you can select the language you like to be returned in and you do this and now you can see the titles come back of a hundred different articles and you can copy the titles if you want to use the titles or something or you can scrape the content of this actual article now everyone doesn't come perfectly sometimes uh, medium articles don't scrape properly and whatnot but about 90% of the time you can get these articles. So let's just try, for example, um, let's look up here, six best free AI programs for beginners to make money. Let's see what that does. So you can either just click scrape here or you can just click get content from selected link and it will bring up this little window. And now you can extract the content of this page. You can, you can um, select this if you wanna remove links or if you wanna remove all formatting. But let's just leave it the way it is and go ahead and extract content. And what that will do, you'll extract it and then stick it directly into the script editor. So now it's it pumps in the whole page. So there's going to be a lot of other stuff probably on the page that we don't want. And don't worry, I've added these really cool features to get rid of that. So this here, delete the top and delete the bottom are very handy in this situation. So all you do is you go down and you find the meat of the content, what you're looking for. So it looks like it starts here. You put your cursor right there and delete the top. Now that top part is gone. Now you find at the end of the content. It looks like it's right here. And now we can delete the bottom. And just like that, we have that content scraped and in our script editor. Of course, I would recommend going through and modifying this content because you do not want to steal it. That's plagiarism, but um, Something to realize here, if you just rely only on AI generated content for everything you do, it can limit you a little bit because in a sense, you gotta realize that this was the top number one article that showed up in Google News for this search phrase. That means Google is ranking this high for a reason because that content is very good. So why not use great content already and just simply modify it a little bit so it's unique. You can change it, change the wording, change a few things in here so it's your own article. And why not use AI to do that? So what you can do here is quickly clean this up. You can delete this. Let's delete this image. We can always get another one. Um, you don't need this. Get rid of all these links. You can come here and use this remove links button. So all the links are gone. I want you kind of got this the way you want it. Let's get rid of that. What we can do is rewrite this content and I got a handy little feature here that can help. Click the AI prompts and go rewrite content. Select that and it makes a prompt. Now it's copied to the clipboard so you got to get back to the main software. Go to the browser and then select the engine that you want by clicking on bookmarks. You can go and select the engine that you want. I'm going to use ChatGPT and I have access to ChatGPT4, so I'm going to select that. Right click and paste. And now go ahead and let ChatGPT rewrite that content for me. So now that it's doing that, you can see that it changed the headline and it changed the content. But I know that this content was placed really high in Google News. So now what I'd like to do is I would start with this content and maybe add a little bit more, 
tell ChatGPT to add more to it and maybe have instead of six ways, have eight ways to earn with artificial intelligence kind of thing and just kind of play with that. But this is a really good way to start creating content. Instead of starting directly only from an AI engine, why not start from Google? where this, the, this content is already proven to be top rated in the search engines. So that's a really good feature I've integrated in here that most other tools do not have that rely only on AI generated content. I think it's important not to do that. I feel you should use AI as a tool to enhance already top content. So let's go into Google search and we could do the same thing and we can select say within the past month do the same thing let's just do this and we'll go to Google and grab some results we got 96 results here seven ways to make money with AI so we can select that and click scrape extract the content and it actually added to our other content that was in here. So let's clear this out first and do it again. And now we can find the bulk of the content. There it is. Delete the top. Delete the bottom. Looks like there needs to be a bit of cleanup here. Now we have more content that we can use here. It's always good to remove the image there and use your own. And if you want to remove links and whatnot and do the editor things that you'd like to do, but it's as easy as that. So we can stick in an image. Let's go to Pexels, type in AI. We can use that, insert. And there it is. So that's how easy it is to get content. Now let's clear all, I wanna look at the Bing one. So if we just try in Bing. There's our content. The same as before, we can find it. Delete the top. And we have our content that we can work with now. Delete that. And again, it's a good idea to go and get this rewritten. Um, and you don't have to just use ChatGPT4. You could use Google Bard as well, which can rewrite content just fine. And so that's basically how you can use the extraction tool. Again, I can't stress the importance of using this to get, you know, use this to research top content in the search engines and use already proven content and modify it using AI, the power of AI, in order to get better content for your own marketing purposes. So that's how to use the content search and extraction tool.